What if everything you thought you knew about the Vikings was wrong? Recent genetic discoveries are turning our understanding of these legendary seafarers upside down. For centuries, Vikings have been portrayed in popular culture as fierce, plundering warriors, clad in horned helmets, charging into battle with reckless abandon. But what if I told you that this image is only part of the story? What if the Vikings weren't a homogeneous group of Scandinavian marauders, but instead a diverse collection of peoples shaped by migration, trade, and intermarriage? This is the exciting premise that underpins the latest genetic research, revealing a tapestry of identities that challenge our conventional wisdom about who the Vikings really were. Today, we'll dive deep into this groundbreaking research that is reshaping our understanding of Viking history. Are you ready to discover the truth about these fascinating figures who sailed across oceans and forged connections far beyond their homelands? Let's explore the surprising genetic origins of the Vikings and uncover the rich, diverse heritage that made them who they were. When we think of Vikings, the image that often comes to mind is that of Scandinavian warriors, known for their fierce raids along the coasts of Europe during the late 8th to early 11th centuries. We envision them as a rugged, homogeneous group with a singular identity, united by a common culture and language. For decades, this portrayal has dominated history books and popular media alike, leading us to believe that Vikings were simply Scandinavian raiders and settlers, distinctly separate from the cultures they encountered. However, recent genetic research is turning this idea on its head. Studies reveal that the reality of Viking identity is far more complex than we previously imagined. Genetic analysis of Viking remains shows a surprising blend of ancestries from various regions, including Southern Europe and the British Isles. This new perspective indicates that the Vikings were not a single, isolated ethnic group, but rather a diverse collection of individuals influenced by migration, trade, and cultural exchange. This shift in understanding is essential for grasping the true nature of Viking society. It reveals how their identity evolved through interactions with different cultures, showcasing a fluid and dynamic community rather than a static one. The notion that being a Viking is tied more to lifestyle, activities, and cultural practices than to a specific ethnicity is a revelation that reshapes our understanding of these historical figures. In this video, we'll delve into the rich tapestry of Viking heritage, examining how their journeys, marriages, and trades with various peoples created a diverse and interconnected society. Buckle up as we explore the depths of Viking identity, challenging long-held beliefs and uncovering the truth about who these legendary seafarers really were. To truly appreciate the groundbreaking genetic discoveries about Vikings, we first need to understand who these remarkable people were. The Vikings, originating primarily from what we now know as Scandinavia, modern-day Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, emerged during the late 8th century and continued their influence well into the 11th century. But to limit their story to mere raiders would be a disservice to their legacy. Viking society was a complex tapestry woven from various threads of culture, economy, and tradition. At the heart of their identity was a sophisticated social structure that included farmers, traders, craftsmen, and warriors. While they are often remembered for their seafaring exploits and fierce raids, such as the notorious assault on the Lindisfarne Monastery in 793 AD, Vikings were also skilled navigators and merchants. They established extensive trade routes stretching from the icy waters of the North Atlantic to the bustling markets of Constantinople and Baghdad. Their launchships, a marvel of engineering, allowed them to traverse not just the open seas, but also rivers and shallow coastal waters, facilitating both trade and exploration. Through these journeys, they encountered diverse cultures and engaged in economic exchanges, bringing goods like silks, spices, and precious metals back to their homelands. This commerce was vital to their economy and contributed to their growing power. Moreover, the Vikings were not merely invaders, they were also settlers. They established colonies in various regions, including the British Isles, Iceland, Greenland, and even parts of North America, such as Vinland, believed to be present-day Newfoundland. In these new territories, they interacted with local populations, influencing and being influenced by different customs, languages, and ways of life. As they settled in these regions, the Vikings left a profound impact on local cultures. 
the legacy of their language, law, and mythology can still be seen in modern Scandinavia and beyond. Their sagas, tales of adventure and exploration, reveal not only their ambitions, but also their values, beliefs, and connections to the world around them. Now that we have a better understanding of the Vikings' historical context, let's dive into the fascinating genetic study that challenges our traditional perceptions of these remarkable individuals. This research is groundbreaking, as it pulls from a wealth of data gathered from Viking-era skeletal remains found across various archaeological sites in Europe and Scandinavia. The study, led by an international team of scientists, analyzed the DNA of over 400 Viking remains, including skeletons unearthed in places like Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and even the British Isles. This extensive analysis was made possible by advanced sequencing technologies that allow researchers to reconstruct genomes from ancient DNA, giving us unprecedented insight into the genetic makeup of the Vikings. So, what did the scientists discover? One of the most significant findings was that Vikings were not a genetically homogeneous group. Contrary to the long-held belief that they were primarily Scandinavian, the analysis revealed a rich tapestry of ancestries. Many individuals buried in Viking graves carried genetic markers associated with Southern Europe and the British Isles. This suggests that their ancestry was much more diverse than previously assumed, indicating that Vikings intermingled with various populations throughout their travels. For example, some of the remains studied showed clear links to genetic backgrounds found in present-day Ireland, England, and even further afield, suggesting that Vikings likely married into local populations as they settled in new territories. This genetic flow across regions highlights not only the movement of people, but also the blending of cultures, as different groups came together and contributed to the Viking identity. In addition to the ancestral connections found within Viking graves, researchers also noted that some individuals buried in foreign lands displayed Scandinavian ancestry. This illustrates the reciprocal nature of Viking movements, where not only did they travel and settle in new regions, but they also brought their genetic heritage with them. This research not only reshapes our understanding of Viking identity, but also provides a glimpse into the broader patterns of migration and cultural exchange that were common during the Viking Age. The intermingling of diverse ancestries reflects a world that was much more interconnected than we might have imagined, challenging the notion of isolated or purely ethnic identities. As we delve deeper into the findings of this groundbreaking genetic study, it becomes increasingly clear that the diversity of Viking ancestry is one of its most striking revelations. The analysis of the Viking-era skeletons provided insights that not only challenge traditional notions of Viking identity but also highlight the interconnectedness of ancient populations. One of the standout discoveries was that many Vikings had genetic links to regions far beyond Scandinavia. For instance, a significant number of individuals displayed markers typically associated with Southern European ancestry, suggesting that the Vikings' interactions extended well beyond their northern roots. This finding implies that Vikings did not merely invade and raid, they were also involved in complex networks of trade and exchange that included people from various backgrounds. The genetic data indicated that Vikings frequently traveled to and settled in the British Isles, where they likely mingled with the local Celtic populations. This cultural exchange contributed to the genetic diversity observed in Viking remains from these areas. For example, some Viking graves in England contained individuals whose ancestry was primarily Irish or Scottish, showcasing a blend of heritages that enriched Viking culture and society. Furthermore, the study highlights the role of the Viking diaspora in shaping their genetic legacy. As they established settlements in places like Ireland, England, and even as far as Greenland in North America, Vikings carried their genes and cultural practices with them. In turn, this led to a two-way flow of genetic material and cultural traits. The evidence suggests that local populations did not just adopt Viking practices, they actively integrated these seafarers into their own communities, creating a fusion of traditions and lifestyles. Interestingly, this blending of cultures was not a one-sided affair. Many Vikings themselves adopted elements of the local customs, languages, and ways of life. The presence of non-Scandinavian ancestry among Viking remains indicates that intermarriage and cultural integration were common. 
This challenges the stereotype of the Viking as a rigidly defined warrior and instead portrays them as adaptable and open to new influences. Moreover, the findings from this study paint a more nuanced picture of Viking society. Rather than being dominated by a single ethnic identity, Viking communities were likely comprised of individuals from diverse backgrounds, contributing to a rich social fabric. This diversity would have influenced everything from their trading practices to their societal norms, resulting in a vibrant and dynamic culture. The findings from the genetic study reveal astonishing insights that challenge our preconceived notions about Viking identity. One of the most surprising discoveries is the foreign ancestry found in individuals buried in Scandinavia. Many of these Vikings carried genetic markers linked to Southern Europe and the British Isles, indicating that they were not just isolated Scandinavians, but part of a broader network of cultural exchange. Conversely, the research showed that some individuals buried in Viking colonies abroad exhibited Scandinavian ancestry. This suggests a complex flow of people across regions, where Vikings and local populations interacted, traded, and sometimes intermarried. Beyond their notorious raiding, Vikings were merchants and settlers who spread their influence through peaceful exchanges. They established trade routes that connected them to diverse cultures, facilitating the movement of goods, ideas, and even genes. These discoveries underscore the significance of trade and settlement in Viking life, painting a picture of a society that was as much about integration and exchange as it was about conquest. This nuanced view encourages us to rethink the legacy of the Vikings and their role in shaping the histories of the regions they touched. Migration and intermarriage were crucial aspects of Viking life that contributed significantly to their diverse identity. As Vikings traveled to new lands for trade, settlement, or raiding, they often formed alliances with local populations. Marriages between Vikings and local women were not uncommon, creating new familial ties that blended cultures and customs. This intermingling allowed Vikings to integrate into various societies, adopting local practices while also sharing their own traditions. For example, in England and Normandy, we see the merging of Viking and local customs, resulting in unique cultural exchanges that enriched both groups. Intermarriage also served as a strategic tool for expansion, fostering relationships that could provide economic benefits and military alliances. By marrying into local populations, Vikings not only established a foothold in new territories, but also facilitated a flow of knowledge, technology, and ideas. This dynamic relationship challenges the notion that Vikings were merely invaders. Instead, they emerge as adaptable individuals who actively participated in shaping the cultures they encountered, illustrating a legacy of interconnection that transcends simplistic narratives of conquest. The concept of a singular Viking identity is further complicated by the diversity within Viking communities themselves. Research shows that not all Viking expeditions came from the same region of Scandinavia. Groups from Denmark, Norway, and Sweden exhibited distinct cultural traits and practices. This regional variation highlights the fact that Vikings were not a monolithic society, but rather a collection of loosely connected communities, each with its own traditions and social structures. Within these communities, people of different backgrounds played crucial roles. The presence of non-Scandinavian individuals, including those of British, Irish, and even Southern European descent, indicates that Viking society was enriched by a mosaic of ethnicities. These diverse backgrounds contributed to a variety of social roles, from traders and warriors to craftsmen and leaders, making Viking communities vibrant and multifaceted. This diversity not only influenced the internal dynamics of Viking society, but also affected their interactions with other cultures. As Vikings traveled, traded, and settled in new lands, they brought with them a wealth of knowledge and cultural practices, further demonstrating the complex and varied nature of their identity. The revelations from the genetic study forced us to reconsider what it meant to be a Viking. Instead of being defined solely by ethnicity or geographic origin, Viking identity emerges as a cultural label closely tied to lifestyle, activities, and shared practices. Individuals from various backgrounds could adopt Viking ways, participating in their maritime exploits, trade networks, and cultural exchanges. This broader understanding challenges nationalist narratives that frame Vikings solely as Scandinavian warriors. 
the new findings emphasize the fluidity of identity, showcasing how the Viking label could encompass diverse people who embraced the Viking way of life. It highlights that being a Viking was about more than just bloodlines. It was about being part of a dynamic culture that valued exploration, trade, and adaptability. Moreover, this perspective allows us to appreciate how Vikings contributed to the societies they encountered. Instead of viewing them merely as conquerors, we can see them as catalysts for cultural integration, enriching local customs and traditions. This understanding encourages a more nuanced view of history, one that recognizes the complexity of identity and the interconnectedness of human societies throughout time. The genetic revelations about Vikings resonate far beyond the historical context of their time. They serve as a mirror reflecting our contemporary world, where migration, intermarriage, and cultural exchange are integral parts of human society. Just as the Vikings traversed oceans and integrated with diverse cultures, we, too, live in an increasingly interconnected global landscape. The study highlights the importance of embracing diversity and recognizing the shared experiences that bind us. It challenges us to reconsider rigid definitions of identity and nationality, suggesting that our connections to one another are often deeper than superficial labels. The Vikings' rich tapestry of ancestry demonstrates that human history is shaped by movement, adaptation, and collaboration. Moreover, this understanding can foster greater appreciation for multiculturalism in today's societies. As we navigate issues of identity and belonging in an era marked by globalization, the Viking legacy encourages us to celebrate our differences while recognizing our shared humanity. It serves as a powerful reminder that cultural exchange and integration can lead to growth, innovation, and resilience, essential qualities needed to address the challenges of the modern world.